I, I am a Christian. That is my faith. I'm not asking you to be a Christian. If you want to be one, I can show you how. <laughs> but it is not required. I have respect for all faiths. All faiths. In the realm of modern spirituality and media influence, few figures are as polarizing as Pastor Gino Jennings and Oprah Winfrey. Jennings, known for his strict adherence to biblical doctrines and fiery sermons, often targets popular culture and its deviations from traditional Christian values. Oprah Winfrey, a media mogul and spiritual influencer, promotes a more inclusive and pluralistic view of spirituality. The clash between these two figures represents a larger conflict between traditional Christian beliefs and contemporary spiritual practices. Man, I was looking uh, at the news and there was some excerpt play. Oprah stood up and was telling the people, I'm a Christian woman. Oh. And she said, I'm not trying to compel you to be a Christian. She said, but if you want to be one, I can tell you how. I said, lie, no, you can't. <laughs> That's right. You haven't repented of your I sins? I haven't repented. Not baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? That's right. Don't have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues? That's right. And there's a wealthy fornicator? Mm. Gino Jennings, the founder of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ, has built a reputation for his uncompromising stance on biblical teachings. His sermons often address issues of morality, doctrine, and the dangers he perceives in modern culture. Jennings' approach is rooted in a literal interpretation of the Bible, which he believes is the infallible word of God. He frequently criticizes what he views as deviations from scriptural truth, whether they come from other religious leaders, societal trends, or media personalities. Well, I am a Christian who believes that there are, there are certainly many more paths to God other than Christianity. I'm a free-thinking Christian who believes in my way, but I don't believe that it's the only way. What I believe is that Jesus came to show us Christ consciousness. Oprah Winfrey, on the other hand, has used her vast media empire to explore and promote a wide range of spiritual ideas. Through her talk show, book club, and various other platforms, Oprah has introduced millions to concepts like the law of attraction, mindfulness, and the idea that there are many paths to God. Her influence extends far beyond traditional religious boundaries appealing to those who may feel alienated by conventional religious practices. Oprah's spiritual philosophy often emphasizes personal empowerment, self-discovery, and an inclusive approach to faith. You got your Stedman? That's right. Living on your backyard? Yeah. At the ring of a bell, here he comes? That's, that's right. not a Christian, that's a sinner. That's a sinner. Yeah, hear the old troublemaker now. Answer ye in at the you straight You God lady. don't care nothing about your celebrity status. No. To God, you are nothing but dust. That's it. Now, that's the way you are to me. <laughs> that's when right. the world prays you, I don't care. Yeah, that's right. You're nothing but dust to me. <laughs> that's right. Born of a woman whom the Bible said in a few days is full of trouble. Full of trouble. Jennings' confrontations with Oprah Winfrey are emblematic of his broader critique of contemporary spirituality. He argues that Oprah's promotion of New Age ideas and religious pluralism undermines the core tenets of Christianity. Specifically, Jennings takes issue with Oprah's assertion that there are many paths to God, which contradicts the biblical teaching that Jesus Christ is the sole mediator between God and humanity. John 14:6. For Jennings, this is not just a matter of differing opinions, but a fundamental distortion of the gospel message. The media's role in shaping public perception of religion and spirituality cannot be overstated. Oprah Winfrey, with her vast platform, has a unique ability to influence how millions perceive spirituality and religion. Her endorsement of various spiritual teachers and practices has brought ideas that were once considered fringe into the mainstream. This has led to a more eclectic and individualized approach to spirituality, which contrasts sharply with Jennings' call for a return to traditional scripture-based Christianity. The tension between figures like Jennings and Winfrey highlights a significant challenge for contemporary Christianity. On one hand, there's a growing movement toward inclusivity and a broader understanding of spirituality. On the other hand, 
There are those like Jennings who see this trend as a dangerous departure from essential Christian doctrines. This conflict reflects a broader struggle within Christianity itself, as it seeks to navigate a rapidly changing cultural landscape while remaining true to its foundational beliefs. From a theological perspective, the confrontation between Jennings and Oprah touches on several key issues. The exclusivity of Christ as the only way to salvation is a central tenet of Orthodox Christianity. By promoting a more inclusive spiritual framework, opera challenges this exclusivity, raising questions about the nature of truth, salvation, and the authority of Scripture. Jennings' response underscores the importance of doctrinal purity and the need to defend the faith against what he perceives as false teaching. Gate. Come on at the straight gate. For wide is the gate. Wide. Wide. Is the gate. And broad is the way. Broad. Amen. It's the way that leadeth to destruction. Lead to destruction. And many there How be. How much? Many there be. Many that be. Which go in their act. That's why they don't want God. They want right. to profess God. Yeah. The Bible said they profess that they know God, but in works they deny him. And many there be which go in their act. What is it, William? Because straight is the gate. Because what? Straight is the gate. Wait a minute. It says... Amen. They, uh, go back and read that again. Enter, and, and it gives the reason. Enter ye in at the straight gate. Yes. For wide is the gate. Wide is the gate. And broad is the way. Broad is the way. That leadeth to destruction. And what? And many there be which go in thereat. So, because. It says, wait a minute. Amen. Many there be that go to destruction. That's right. And what is the reason that that happens? Because straight is the gate. And narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. And few there be that find it. That's holiness there. That's holiness. That's right. See, that's holiness. That's holiness. Only holiness make heavenly demands. That's right. The broader cultural and societal context also plays a crucial role in this debate. In an increasingly pluralistic and secular society, traditional religious views are often seen as outdated or intolerant. Oprah's message of inclusivity resonates with a culture that values diversity and individualism. Jennings' insistence on a strict interpretation of scripture, meanwhile, can appear rigid or exclusionary to a modern audience. This cultural shift presents a significant challenge for those who, like Jennings, seek to uphold traditional Christian values. The confrontation between Geno Jennings and Oprah Winfrey is more than just a clash of personalities. It represents a deeper conflict between traditional Christian beliefs and contemporary spiritual practices. Jennings' unwavering commitment to biblical doctrine and Oprah's promotion of a more inclusive, pluralistic spirituality highlight the tensions within modern Christianity and society at large. As the cultural landscape continues to evolve, this debate will likely remain a defining issue for religious communities and individuals seeking to navigate the complex interplay between faith and modernity.